Hey, it's Mike and John from PumaPlow.com here with a very special episode of Farming Simulator 15 on the Xbox 360. Ew. So we, this haven't, is, we haven't done much with this, John. No, this is the Silver Edition. Yep. It is the $10 DLC for Farm Sim on the 360. Farm Sim 15, that is, on the 360. Right. It's just like gold, except you don't get Sosnovka. Yeah, so you just get equipment. So let's run through it. We're going to start with uh, tractors, yep. right? Yep. And the big thing on the 360, obviously, is slots. So. Yeah. So you. I, I guess any of the maps that you can play, you won't start with any of this equipment because you don't have the new map right, to play on. Right, right. But here it is. This is some of the new the new tractors. It's all the same equipment as the gold on the one or on the PC. Yeah. But we wanted to, we're really con concerned about slots. Four which slots. Which that one's four slots. Four slots. Wow. Three slots. Why is the big tractor less slots? Right. right. Just saying. So okay. as you can see, if you look at John's screen, he's got one free slot. Yeah. He's got some windmills, obviously, but... A truck yeah. is four slots. You know, you know, you get really spoiled playing on the one. You don't have to worry about slots. The one or the PC. Yeah. You, yeah. Do. you really do. Yep. It makes me never want to play on the 360 ever again. Yep. Uh, four slots, four slots. Three slots? Three slots. Okay, yeah, I didn't I see it. I couldn't find it there for a second. I'm like, what? Yeah. Bobby. And obviously those are the two combines and the chaffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those combines are actually a lot better than I thought they'd I'm, be. I'm really liking this one. We haven't used the big one yet. Right. We'll, we'll get there. And yep. then... Heads. It comes with heads, obviously. Bunch of different heads um, too, right? So you have this the what is this seven, seven meter, the nine, nine meter, a five point seven corn, and then we're into the for the chaff yep. with the six and the three, which the three is for picking up your windrows, so it doesn't matter. It's the same right. head. Is that the same size as the uh, other head for picking up chaff? I don't even know. Yeah. Okay, cool. But the other heads are smaller. Yeah, like this is the all crop for this thing. It's only five meters. Right. I think the other one's six. I think we looked All at crop here is six. Right. Um, this is for corn. It's six. And then if you come over here, you're, this is this is 10.5. Right. That's a huge so, difference. Yeah, what that one. What do you think about that big head on, on that on the so the zetter I'd probably not or whatever it is probably horsepower rating to get you yeah. you get this tipper as well this tipper i'm actually kind of liking it it's um, a good tipper it's not the biggest yeah it holds but, 15 two slots yep fourteen thousand five hundred dollars can't yeah, beat it, it right it's a it's a good head uh cultivators or you do trailer yeah we knew what you meant Did you, you do get a little three meter cultivator that takes two slots which is gross <laughs> <laughs> well, i forgot about the cultivator you do get two seeders. You get kind of your normal crop and then your corn and sugar beet crop. What are they? Is that 3.8? Uh, yes, they are. It's hard to read all Three over and 3.8. Wow. And you have to cultivate first. Right, right, right. Uh, you do get a little 12-meter uh, fertilizer spreader. It also costs you two slots. Man, everything is costing two slots. It's actually, or... that fur spreader is not bad. No, it's really not. I yeah. think that's it, right? Plow. I missed the plow. Yeah, we forgot the plow last time, right? You forgetting the plow. 1.9-meter, two-slot, four-bottom plow. It's actually not a bad plow. We've used it yeah. on Sosnovka. Right. And uh, it's it's not bad. 92 horsepower required. I think that's it now. What? Don't you have everything purchased? I think I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. So this is, I mean, we're just going to kind of run through it all and look at it. We're not, I'll probably drive the truck. Yeah, because we haven't driven it much. Everybody wants to see the truck. I'd come help you out, but it's 360. It was single player only. Yeah, there's no multiple. Look at my windmills, by the way. <laughs> yeah, just they're just making you money back there. Yeah, so there's the truck and... The truck's dyeable, which is cool, so you can yeah. paint any color you want. Sure. That's the small combine, the big combine, uh, the forage harvester. I'm actually looking forward to trying that thing out. Yeah, me too. So. And then the little plow. Yep. Forage harvester head for corn, regular corn head. It's up on stands, too, even. It really is. Didn't That's neat looking. Notice that. Yeah. Uh, the big green head, the small green head, uh, windrow head. Now, this is something weird that King Bond actually showed me here. Okay. The all crop head. It's off center. It wow. So when you are it's driving like it, way off center. It's too. off to your right farther. So it's kind of yeah. interesting. So wonder why. I don't know, but it looks cool. Yeah. Tipper. Uh, the tipper that comes with it. It's pretty cool. The little tiny fertilizer. The cool thing is it's open top, so when you fill it, you can actually see it. it and just, it, I mean, it, it does a good job. It works. It's gonna be slow on your big fields, like if you're playing on Westbridge or something. Oh yeah, it'd be terrible. But it works, and you set it and forget it. And then here's the the one seeder for all the crop, and then the other seeder for the other corn and right. sugar beet, and then the little cultivator guy, which I mean, it works too. We've used it a little bit. Yep, it all works. Um, it's just all this equipment is for like small, small time in farming. Here, let's get this thing over here. Probably the biggest thing you have are the combines and the truck and this thing. Yeah. 
Everything else is really small potatoes. Even the biggest tractor is only 150 horsepower. Yeah. So it's not like... Which we haven't used that one yet. So. No, but it's, I mean, it's not crazy big. No, you know? none of the stuff's big. Uh, a lot of people are like, you know, it's all show, no go. I mean, it kind of uh, is. So look, it, look how it's but off center. That's really weird. Isn't that cool? Yeah. But, you know, if you like the small farming, you like maybe the old-timey farming. Yeah. Well, this stuff's perfect for that. I'd, I'd like this head. I, all, I, the, all the movement. Yeah. That's pretty good. Let's go cut some grass real You quick. know, if you're on the 360 and you want to play, like, Bjornholm. <laughs> or Bjornholm. Or Bjornholm, right. Oh, look at that. All the, That's a great animation. Even for 360, this is good. Yeah. Wow. But, you know, you could do a lot on Bjornholm with a lot of the small equipment. Yeah, you could. That's all I'm saying. All right, let me go. This kind of reminds me of the classics pack we got on Farm Sim 13. Kind of, yeah. You know, with, like, the Schluters and whatever. Pretty much, yeah. Truck. And the truck does have a hitch for trailers, too. Yeah, so the, like, let's see. Um, I Where's that tipper at? It's, it's buried, buried, of course. But you can put that tipper on this truck, which is kind of different and cool. Right. And uh, different, so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it's a it's a cool truck. It doesn't quite have the top speed. It only goes 41. Right. Uh, the other truck goes, what, 50 now? I believe it's 50, yes. Uh, but it, it, it actually has more power, so your acceleration should be better. Uh, to be honest, we haven't really used it much yet in my game. Wow, that I'm looking apart. forward to trying this truck out, yes. Yeah. Just because it does have like 20 or 30 more horsepower or something than the man truck. And it does have a, the back is a steerable axle. That'll help, right? Yeah, tight turns yeah, and stuff. So, should be good. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So, if you're playing Farm Sim on the 360. I'm sorry. Well, first off, yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> but we're glad you're watching the video. Like and subscribe for more. Yeah. And uh, is it worth it? Do you really hate the man truck? <laughs> okay, so those combines. Let's let's go do some comparison shopping here. Right. So that those combines. Let's, let's do the big one. Okay, it's twelve thousand liters. It's three forty two, right? Yes. Okay. Twelve thousand so, liters. That's right. kind of the the key right. number. It I'm fits in. At. It's just below that case. So it's really. Oh wow, we don't have the other case on this one. That's right. Right. You don't have right. You don't have the small case. Yeah, the seventy one thirty. So it's just below that. It's about the same price. It's a little bit cheaper. Yeah. But the problem is head size. What's well, the case head, John? Uh, the, let's see, that's the big one, right? So that would okay. be the uh, thir- 13.7. Okay. The head for the other one is only 9 meters. I want to try something, though. I'm out of well, stuff. Well, sell never, something first. Never mind. <laughs> you could sell something. <laughs> sell, uh, okay. Oh, my God. The 360 is so painful. Right. How do you guys do this? <laughs> that's enough, dude. All right. You've got slots now. Okay. How do you do this with slots? Ew. I know. It's so, like, if, I know if I didn't have 10 windmills, it would help. I want to, that's the case, the big case head. I want right. to try this. Is that the big combine? This is the big, big, big combine. Yep. Yeah, it's got the longer pipe. Okay. Yeah. Because really what's holding you back with this combine to me not is put, the head. Put my pipe out. What are you doing? I'm going to hook up to You're this. You're unfolding. I know. I wanted to put oh, my okay. pipe out, and it's not letting me. Maybe you have to unfold before you can pipe out? So I was thinking. Err. Yep. There you go. All right. Oh, that that pipe's plenty long. So, you guys can totally. So I did buy the big one, right? I own that one. Yeah, it's the same head. That is okay. Yeah, there's only okay. They have the same head in red and yellow. Yeah, they do. So red. you could, if you're gonna use that combine, that's Dude, the head you need. That is, like, because that head games you almost five meters, which is a lot. Yeah. So that so, that'll totally work. Yep. So keep that in mind too. Yeah. So that makes that combine a lot better now. Yeah. So. Uh, how much do you hate the man truck? <laughs> I mean... Because that's basically what you're going to spend $10 for. Unless you really want a new Forge Harvester, which... Eh. Yeah. You want? I mean, it's nice to have a couple different combines. I'll give you that. It is nice to have some new different stuff. But... And the head almost matches. Slightly different reds. Right. So... But yeah, it's yeah, nice. How much do you hate the man truck? Pretty much. How much do you hate the man truck for the new truck? So there you go. That's our uh, in-depth analysis. Whoa. You see the way that's tank folds? That's interesting. That's like the sickest thing ever. Yeah. Check this stuff out. Whew. Oh. Yeah. This okay. is our very in-depth analysis into the silver edition of Farming Simulator 15 for the Xbox 360. Yep. Gross. So until next time. <laughs> wow. We're Mike and John from PumaPlow.com. See ya. Toodles.